the CDBG program, as I mentioned, is very important to people here. And of course, people here are largely are doing housing development. And the question is, uh, what can be done to ensure that at least a portion of the local CDBG funds be used for housing? Many areas now use all of the funds uh, for other city improvements. So any thoughts? About yeah, that? that's a great question. Um, <clears throat> And, and, you know, it's sort of double-edged because part of the beauty of CDBG, as folks know from work in their own local communities, is that it is so flexible. That's also one of the main reasons, that's one of the main reasons that it has gotten bipartisan support and support from mayors and local officials throughout the United States because it gives them that flexibility. However, it, the idea was originally it, it is tied to housing infrastructure in the United States. So we want to, from our from our vantage point, we want to encourage communities to meet their affordable housing needs in part with CDBG dollars. And the way that I think, one of the ways we can best do that is to take these best practices and best examples of, of communities that are doing that and then distribute that information, make that information available and training available to smaller communities and bigger communities about how they can leverage those CDBG, CDBG dollars for uh, investment in housing. Uh, and I believe that more communities are open to that these days because they see the great need that exists in the housing market. The fact that now, more and more, because we have folks who are not homeowners at the same rate that they used to be, they're competing in the, in the rental housing market for a place to live, uh, and rental rates have gone up. These communities, these city councils are now recognizing that they need to do something. The other thing that, that I've done is that um, I very preliminarily begin a conversation um, about it, trying to encourage more local governments to, to take part of their bond issues, their regular bond issues. You know, somebody will pass a bond issue for $50 million or in the bigger cities, $800 million. And to do what cities like Austin, Texas have done, which is to dedicate some of those bond dollars specifically for the creation of affordable housing. People have accomplished that in different ways. Sometimes the establishment of a housing trust um, but I think not enough, uh, not enough have done it in their actual bond issues. Mm -hmm. The advantage that that has is that it, it brings a community awareness about affordable housing to the fore because people vote on those bond issues. They say yes or no, and you get more buy-in in a community that way. Um, my hope is that in both uh, communities, big and small, more of them will, will take on that challenge.